Do you want to learn how to make this delicious Salvadorian dish? Well, stay tuned! I hope you guys are doing pretty well. Welcome to my channel. My name is Hugo. In this video, I'm going to, well, this is not gonna be a tutorial, okay? This is going to be more like sharing with you something delicious, something that I love and that is very traditional in El Salvador. And I'm talking about something called sopa de frijoles con carne, which means bean soup with meat. With meat. With with this, right? With this, uh -huh. uh, yeah. So as I said, this is not gonna be an actual tutorial, but let me show you some of the ingredients that we are using. We are, well, my wife is getting ready the, what you may know as pico de gallo, which we call chimol, right? Which is basically tomatoes with onions and cilantro. And we also have the beans, which is key part of the whole recipe. My wife likes to use black beans. Typically, you will use red beans for this soup, but uh, she prefers black beans. I think they taste pretty good. And we also have rice, just regular rice. We like to use jasmine rice. I don't know, it, it just tastes better for us. She has already rinsed the beans and the rice, so they are ready to be cooked. We we have, I, I say a lot we, because I'm used to say we on everything that she or I or we do, but she's the one cooking, I'm just recording, all right? So the water is, is getting hot, but it's not boiling, obviously. So we're just putting the, the, the beans, okay? And at the same time, you're going to put the meat, right? So everything cooks at the same time. So then we are going to let it boil. It would take, a few minutes, maybe 20 to 30 minutes. And here is a very important tip. If you are unsure of how to tell if the beans have been cooked completely, what you can do is that the night before you, you cook the beans, you can put them on water and leave them all night long. That will make the beans softer, so by the time you cook them, they will cook easier. Now, my wife is an expert, so she knows exactly the perfect point. So she's basically cooking them raw, which takes longer, but you know, she don't have to do the, the other process. Okay, and now while we wait for this to boil, we are going to cook the rice. And we usually cook it with uh, olive oil, you know, trying to be healthier. And you know, you just cook rice like normal all right and then uh, we are adding onions and garlic for the rice so it tastes much better now there is a few myths about myths 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 about beans you know that they produce gases and farts basically right <laughs> i think that's how you say it anyways i think it is true I think it is true if you eat a lot of beans, it is true. But some people say that if you remove the shell bean, you know, the, the outer skin of the bean, then that will help to reduce gases. I don't know if that's true, and I don't know how will you remove the shell of every single bean. That's a lot of work. But the other option is to add some oregano. Now, this says garlic right here. We just reuse all the container from other stuff and, and we just, you know, we are environmental friendly. <laughs> so you can put some oregano and that is supposed to help reduce any gases. We don't know that, we only use it because it tastes much better. Okay, so we are going to let the onions and the garlic cook a little bit. We are not waiting for it to be burned or anything, we're just letting it cook so it, it smells good. And then we add the rice. Um, don't do it too quick and don't wait too much and then just add the rice. You can add vegetables if you want uh, We're just doing it that way because we will add the chimol later Also something that you will notice is that once the water is starting to boil you see that foam that the beans release my wife likes to remove it because she had been told 
that that will give like a sour taste to the soup so she had been told by her ancestors to remove the foam out of the beans all right all right it's boiling now we're just gonna add the onions and the garlic we also add this thing i don't know what is it called um, uh, beef flavor beef flavor yes we like to use that one uh, yeah that's 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 uh, to give him to give it some flavor So now we're just gonna let it boil even more. Now the beans, again, needs to be completely cooked. So they'll be very soft, not like extremely soft, but they just soft. And also the reason why she added the meat at the beginning is so the meat is more tender. Okay, and here is the chimol or pico de gallo. And now we're just gonna put some lime. Just lime and no salt, all right? All right, so about two and a half to three hours have passed. Everything is ready, we are hungry, and I'll show you how it looks once it's served. All right, so we usually will add the rice first, so that would be your base. And then we will add the soup itself which is already mixed with the beans, the beef, and some squash, right? Mm -hmm. That's for me. Yeah, that's for Jenny, I don't really like squash. At least like that. In El Salvador, we add something called pitos. <laughs> pitos, yep, yep. and it's pretty similar to squash. So Jennifer likes to add squash. All right, and now we'll add uh, chimol, right? Mmm. And you will always have fresh cheese. And just to show you, this is the cheese that we use. I mean, I guess you can use any fresh crumble cheese, but this is the one that we like. And all the ingredients you'll find them on basically any store. Most likely you will get it from a local Hispanic store, but you can also find everything in like Walmart. Of course, we have the good, delicious avocado. All right, so we are ready. Look at this. And as I mentioned, it, this dish is very traditional over there in El Salvador. I mean, it's pretty cheap, except for the meat that can be a little bit expensive. And just as a side note, the meat that we usually use in El Salvador has bones, right? It's, it's the actual beef with the bones. With the bun? Bun? With the bones? Bones? <laughs> And that actually gives um, more flavor to the actual soup. So it's up to you. You can do it with or without. All right, let me do the first bite. I don't know if you say bite, if you're drinking soup, but I'm biting right now. So I guess it's bite, right? All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, any comments in regard to this soup, or if you have any suggestions for future video, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And if you like it, make sure to click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? It's free. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Hasta la vista.